Good morning, class, and welcome to math. Today is Monday, April 27th, and we are going to be continuing on with the green circle and blue square from the assignment that is falsely labeled metric measurement, but it's actually about coordinate plane and graphing. It should be on page 179, 180-ish in your ultimate math notebook. Let's begin. So this is our green circle today. It says the following coordinate plane represents a city plan. Each of the letters represent an ice cream shop. The sun is where Mercy's home is located. Answer each of the questions using the letter that best fits. So one thing I want to point out for this green circle and kind of what makes it a green circle as opposed to a blue square is that we are only focusing on coordinate one, right? We are in the coordinate that we have been in for most of the year. Um, in science and math, whenever we're graphing anything, we've really been focusing on coordinate one, and that is where we are for this particular assignment. Feel free to go back and review the graphing video if you want um, some extra check-ins and some extra help. Um, in the meantime, let's go back. So it says all of these are ice cream shops. Which ice cream shop is closest to Marcy's home? So what you want to do is you want to look and see which of these letters is closest to the sun. And you want to do this not just by looking, but by actually counting the number of spaces. So if I start at the sun and I count how many spaces it is to be, it's one, two, three. So that is three spaces away. If I look at A, which is probably the next closest one, I go down one, two, three, and to the right, four, five. So B is much closer than A. So number one is B. Uh, number two, which ice cream shop is furthest away? So we can probably eyeball it and say it's C, but let's count to see how many uh, spaces it is exactly. So down one, two, three, four, five, six. To the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So six plus seven is 13. So C is 13 away. Really none of the other ones are 13 um, away. So it says each block is one mile and Marcy were to travel six miles to the east and then one mile south, which ice cream shop would she be at? So we're again, assuming normal cardinal direction. So the top um, kind of pointing to where the green circle is, that's north. Um, where my hand is waving, that's east. Down below is south. And to the left is west. That's kind of how we orient ourselves with any coordinate plane that is also acting as a map. So if each block represents one mile and Marcy were to travel east six miles, so let's go to the east six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one mile south, so going down one, I'm at letter D and your finger should be two, either in your ultimate math notebook or on this screen. All right, so the next one says if each block is one mile and Marcy were to travel six miles south, which ice cream shop would she be at? So let's count down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So your finger should be at either on your ultimate math notebook page or on the screen, the letter E. Awesome. Which other ice cream shop is closest to shop A? Um, so you have to actually count. So B is one, two, three, four. And that is one, two, three, four, five. E is five, B is four. So that makes B the closest shop to A. Let's take a look at these answers. So at this point, you should have done it with me or you should have paused and you should have finished these answers on your own and should be ready to check. So like I said, number one is B, two is C, three is D, four is E, and five is B, just like we said. It's always nice when that works out. So now this is our blue square because we're going from that one quadrant Remember that word quadrant, like quad, means one-fourth of my total coordinate plane. So we're going from quadrant one to now including the whole coordinate plane or this whole 2D space that we graph stuff on. Let's take a look. So it says the following represents a map of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Yes, I love Hogwarts. The sun represents the Gryffindor common room. Each of the other coordinates represents a classroom in the school. Answer each of the questions using the letter and the coordinates. Each square represents two hallways. Transfiguration is closest to the Gryffindor common room. Which is it? So the fancy, this is kind of a fancy way of saying which of these dots is closest to the sunshine. 
So if I look, I can pretty much visualize that it's going to be H, but let's count it out. Put your finger on the sun and let's go to the right one, two. So that'd be four hallways because each of those lines represents two. That's H. And if I go down one, two, three, then I'm at B. So that would be six hallways. So H is closer. Care of Magical Creatures is furthest from the Gryffindor common room. Which one is it? So again, um, I can pretty much eyeball and see that it's C, but let's count it out and see how far C actually is. So starting at the sun, I'm going to go south or down first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to the right or east. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So C is the furthest away. Potions is six hallways away. Which letter represents the potions classroom? So I have to find one that is six hallways. This can be tricky because it's not six squares, which would lead you to think it was E, but it's actually B because remember each of those lines, each of those boxes equals two hallways. Charms class is closest to potions. Which letter represents this classroom? Again, this is a fancy way of saying which dot or point, I shouldn't say dot, it's point in mathematical terms, is closest to B. So if I'm counting, E is closest to B. I count one, two, three, which is six hallways. Let's take a look at those answers. So it also wants you to put um, the coordinates. So remember, an ordered pair has two numbers in it. The first tells me which way I'm going to the left and right because it's my x coordinate and the second one tells me which way I'm going up and down. So um, the first one is h negative 2 4. Number two is c 4 negative 4. Number three is b negative 4 1 and number four is e negative 4 negative 2. Thank you so much for your hard work guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in a little bit for science.